A kiwi pie shop production is about to embark on a nationwide tour, or at least that was the plan. Mr Red Light received rave reviews during its Auckland run, only to find funding's been sliced. Jordan Rudd hit the stage to find out more. Nobody move! I said nobody move! A story of bad luck in this robbery gone wrong. Mr Red Light can't catch a break. <laughs> Found ants in the sugar. And neither can the production's directors. We are letting go of the office. We probably are going to have to lose our staff. Back to the kitchen table. The hostage drama got the green light from reviewers, but it wasn't enough for Creative New Zealand, their main funder, deciding to drop the production company from its investment programme. Before we even got our first report in, we had been jettisoned as we were rehearsing our first show, actually. And it does seem incredibly unfair. All this just weeks before embarking on a nationwide tour. And interesting, we were doing a show about bad luck at the time. Yeah. Because I, we're certainly the shortest client that's ever been a client uh, of okay. CNZ's yeah. ever. I was absolutely shocked. I could not believe it that this company, um, who is delivering high class New Zealand theatre, I don't understand it. I think it's a crime. <laughs> Mr. Red Light follows the world's worst bank robber. A trio of uncooperative strangers, a diabetic ant, and a pie shop, tied together in the most unlikely of circumstances. We are not holding a conversation here! I said no talking! An online crowdfunding campaign's underway, as well as an SOS show this Saturday. All ticket sales going towards their production plan. A red light on your chest! What are you talking about? Duck! <laughs> a duck? No! And it's not just Aucklanders who can catch a glimpse of Mr Red Light. Audiences around the country will get a chance to see the show during its nationwide tour, which kicks off in Awamaru next month. For this production, the show is far from over. Jordan Rudd, One News.